This is Rags to Riches, a 14 season career mode where we start with the worst car in F1 2010 and try to work our way up the order to a top team in F1 23. The rules are simple. Beat my teammate and I can stay at this team for the next season. Lose to them and I have to go down the order. But to move up, I must get a top 10 in the championship. So let's begin. Here we go then. First race on F1 2011. Jensen burns on pole position, but we are P2 on the grid. We can see the lights on our screen. The lights are on, the engine's revving, and we go racing for the Australian Grand Prix, the first round of 2011. And we get off to an amazing start up the inside of Jensen Button and we've taken the lead of the Australian Grand Prix and we've driven off into the distance as well got no curves left to fight with though oh, as we run it a little bit wide that can open the door for Jensen Button he's on the inside of us He's on the inside. We have to give him the space. And he's got the overtake. We're going to go for a big lunge. Up the inside. Oh, we've taken him out. We've got a penalty. A drive-through. No. No. Right, the drive-through penalty. We're going to come out. We're going to have a gap. Right, now we go. Now we go. Now we go. So we obviously, I've lost a lot of time there. The tyres are horrendous right now. <laughs> that was close. Right, let's go, 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 go. Cool. We are still in the fight for points. Look at us. You have no whoa, hello, Alonso. Wait, 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 wait. Why are we on options? I, what do you mean? What did we do in the box? No way I've been absolutely shafted like that. I need a pit, Alonso. Get out of the way. Go, 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 go. Thank let's at least not be last. Oh, my God. They are batting each other, but we're going to absolutely fly. Because I don't think they're going to get curves. So we're going to overtake them on the left-hand side. Both of them two in one. Hard on the brakes as well. Squeeze out Haken Kovalainen. <laughs> Not really give much room to the Marussia Virgin car. I cannot believe this. When we were on for such a great result. We're going to get past Yana Trulli here. Into this corner. Oh, he just barged me a little bit. Can we get the car on the track still? Yes, we can. Right, up next. Is that Glock? Whoa, Glock. Through the long left. And there we go. He's job done. Come on. Can we send it around the outside? Whoa, it's hard on the brakes. It's right around the outside. Use a little bit of grass as well. The Indian driver, Narain Kartikeyan. Oh, right out on the uh, grass there. Can we go for a big lunge around the outside? We're going to try it. Oh, so late on the brakes. Narain didn't know what hit him. We got a penalty. We couldn't change tyres. It's P16 at the end of the day. It's a bad race. As the lights are on, the engine's revving, and we are racing. And we're going to burn that curse to absolutely obliterate the field. It worked last time. Let's use it all. Late on the brakes into the first corner, right up the inside of Sebastian Vettel. It's a huge dive bomb, and it might have just worked. What a send that was to take the lead from eighth on the grid. <laughs> Ah, oh, these corners are so nice when you get them right. That was not one of them. Felipe Massa nearly had a little look at us there. Pit now. Box, box, box. Right, using all of the curves that we can possibly use. I can see the primes are literally on the car. We've been held, aren't we? No. No. Go. No. 12 seconds. Got no Go grip whatsoever. Right, we can get these places back. Oh, my God. Yano truly is just driving into me now. I cannot believe that. That is a disgusting amount of positions lost. We're right around the outside of the rest, so we can't do that. I've got to get a point at least. Oh, the big lunge up the inside. Maybe that's where we're going wrong. We're still wheel to wheel with Sergio. Oh, we have, uh, we've absolutely shoved him off the track there. The FIA are completely blind to that. Incident ahead. Yes. Yes, we're in the points. What are you doing? Why are you moving over to the freaking racing line? It's going to be between myself and my teammate. I swear as if... No! We can go for a big send here on the inside of my yeah, teammate. I know we're on the same team, but I... Oh, no, that's even worse. That's even worse. We just gave the point to Sutil. Oh, no. No. Our first race, wet race of the season. The lights are on, the engine's revving, and we are racing here in China. We're going to use the curse to get away. Can we jump up into the lead like we have done so many times this season? Oh, we nearly take out Sebastian Vettel. It's very close between the two of us. We're hugging the inside line. We don't want to repeat of torpedoing from Danny Kvyat. And once again, we've shot ourselves back up into the lead of this race. We have a little bit more curse 
available to us. Oh, we're going to run it wide. That's going to allow Sebastian Vettel just to have a little look on me. Tires. Intermediate tires going on the car. Right, here we go. We're in the box. Where is Vettel going to be when they come out? Here Heading down the into the first corner. But we're going to regain the lead for the first time ever. But will it be a finally a race win on F1 2011? Here we go. It's another fastest lap as we come across the line. It's a 1.39.5. Yes, it is. No bottles on the last lap. No bottles. We will not use a flashback. We were shafted in Australia. We were shafted in Malaysia, but it's a race win in China on top of the podium for the first time in Rags to Riches. Let's go. Here we are then at the Turkish Grand Prix for round four of season two in 2011. Sebastian Vettel is on pole. Not good qualifying for us down in P14. As when the lights are on, the engine's revving and they went out quickly. So we are racing here at Istanbul. We've got to be very careful to make sure we don't go for any sort of risky lunges up the inside and cause damage on the first lap but it's a good start to the race so far oh nearly going to the back of michael schumacher instead we're gonna go around the outside we're off the track I mean, we did kind of overtake off the track but um nobody saw that use the drs now to overtake on sebastian Buemi. we probably should have upped the uh, gear ratios and that's a lovely easy overtake on the Toro Rosso that moves us up another position as Mark Webber fails to get past the Salva. There we go, into the pit lane. Right, where is this going to be? I think it's going to be like P15, but I don't know. They're going through that last corner now. So if we can get a good... Um, there we go, good pit stop. Good, good, good. We're going to be coming out P8 on track. Can we catch up to these guys on the faster tyre? Oh, they're Looks fighting like up ahead. DRS isn't working. No, the my DRS works. isn't working, even though I haven't used it at all this race. Oh, I'm going to miss this track. The last time racing Istanbul. We're going to go through the final couple of corners for the last time in the career mode at Istanbul. It's across the line. It's P14 to P8. We can be very happy with that result today. The Spanish Grand Prix, it is Mark Webber who is on pole position. Fernando Alonso, I believe, is in second place. We're P12 on the grid again. The lights are coming on now. The engine is revving and we are racing. There's nothing we can really pick off through there. We can go around the outside of Jensen Button here. Oh, everybody's slow. Jensen Button, though, hangs it around the outside. The traction on the option tyres and in that McLaren. He might be able to hold it as well on the inside through this corner, which he does. Oh, my God. Okay. But when he is now driven into me and absolutely obliterated his front wing. Having a look on Jensen Button. We're going to send him out wide there because of that. Oh, oh, we're all over him. A lot of contact between the two of us. Jensen Button still holds the position. Oh, there's a big battle going on here. I hope they continue to fight each other when they all box as well. Oh, Jensen's made a mistake. We're going to lunge it here. What a move on Jensen Button. Why, why is it with the AI driving into spaces that aren't there? Oh, I've touched the wall. We're okay. Right. Where is this going to put us out? Is it still going to give us any contention for points? Or is points over? And it's going to be P10 if we can stay out ahead of the car behind, which I think we can. Right. Send it on the outside or the inside? I don't know. Outside? Oh, my God. We hit petrol. And we don't overtake Schumacher, unfortunately. Oh, my God. We just barged our way through on the inside there. We're going to send it here like we did on Jensen Button earlier on in the race. Oh, Schumacher. We've got it, we've got it, we've got it. No, we can get that P8, chat. Not if we take racing lines like that. Oh my God. Oh my God. We absolutely obliterated Schumacher. Right up behind Petrov at the moment. We can definitely go through in the next corner. We need to, because I reckon we can maybe even get a P7 out of it. No, it's going to be start finish straight. Or maybe our, uh, our favorite overtaking opportunity. Round the outside, actually. Hello. Round the outside of Vitaly Petrov. Flat out through here. Let's go. It's a very, very mixed field at the moment. But we're going to come across the line. It's P7 for us at the Spanish Grand Prix. It's a good result on our fifth race of 2011. We are in the jewel of the crown of the F1 calendar in Monaco. And it's pole position for Big Gun Scully. Sebastian Vettel is in P5. Don't know why it showcased him, but it has done. Rubens Barrichello, my teammate. P18. The lights are coming on. The engine's racing. And we... The engine's revving and we are racing. We got it at the end. Right, yeah, let's get underway nonetheless. Into the first corner. No heroics into Sandovot. No heroics needed. We've got a huge gap over everybody. Safety car's car being, being deployed. deployed. Let's go prime tyres. Box this lap, box this lap. Our first safety car of our career. 
And we're going to be the only ones to box. It's going to knock us right down the field. But it's basically a free pit stop. Oh, we got drivers in the box. Drivers are coming into the pit lane. Oh, no, it's only one driver. This is going to be really, really good for our race. But we go racing once again here in Monaco. Oh, the tyres are so cold. Oh, no, this is not good. So until we can warm them up, we are going to be on the back foot. Swerve a bit. I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some drivers in the box. Okay, that's good news. And that's going to move us up to PA at the moment. But Fernando Alonso the is the fastest man on track. On track. Oh, my God. Right, drivers in the pit lane. Are we going to regain the lead of this race? I think we are. And I think it's going to be easy as well. Look at that. Back in the lead of the there Monaco Grand Prix. The at the moment. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was close. I was scared for a moment there. I thought that was going to be race done. Oh, that's the wall. That's the wall as well. Oh, my God. 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 He's within one second of me now. Oh, he's coming for me, chat. Alonso, no. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back, please. Alonso, you shall not pass. I will park this car in the middle the whole time. I thought this was going to be a boring... What the f*** was that? No. Fernando Alonso... Just goes, I'm going to cut the corner, okay, and then just cuts me up. What? What was that for? Right, will it happen again? Right, he stayed behind this time. We're not having that. We're not having the AI kamikaze me, take me out, and give me a penalty for it. No, 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 no. One lap left to go. Whoa! Wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin. I've just got to put the car in the middle of the track. That's all I've got to do. Fernando Alonso has a look at the inside. Don't do it again. He hasn't sent it into us this time. We've survived the chicane into Anthony Node's corner on the acceleration. Use all of the curves. And it's a race win in Monaco chat. Let's go. Oh, we had to work for that one. Woo! Here we go then. The Canadian Grand Prix, fresh from our race win in Monaco. And we are starting. Uh, it's not being good. It's P18. It was not good qualifying for us. We are going to be driving with this POV today. Let's see what we can do. The lights are on. The engine's revving. We're racing here in Canada. And we're already going to try and switch for an inside line on Adrian Sutil and everybody else if we can. Oh, my God. I've hit Sutil. We're still okay. We're still okay. We've got a good launch on everybody. Oh, my God. What has just happened to Buemi? Through the middle of these two. This is scary. Get out of the way. Big lunge up the inside of all these drivers. And we're now on the back of our teammate. Oh, my God. I'm still wheel to wheel. Somebody's broken their front wing on me. Oh, the rest are in the wall. Easy overtake, surely. We've got that straight line, straight speed on the Force India. There we go. Up to P14. Oh, somebody else has broken their front wing. There's a lot of debris on track. It's Vitaly Petrov and Nico Rosberg. And I can get maybe Rubens Barrichello and Nick Heidfeld as well at the same time. No, Heidfeld no defense. But we go for the switch back up the inside. Barrichello gets both of us in a sweeping move. Great stuff. But we're up to P11. What a start this has been. Driver's in the pit lane already. So Rubens going very, very early. Don't know if he got some sort of damage. That's on the grass there. That's not good. The AI finally into the pit lane. And we are going to take P4 in this race at the moment. He can have a look. He can have a run on the inside. But we're just going to fly into the pits now. Flat out. There we go. Into the box. Into the box. Oh, my God. We touched grass. We're touching more grass. Right. Can we hunt down our teammate? Or will Rubens Barrichello be able to nick the last remaining point away from us? All right. Barrichello's in the box. Why is he pitting? What are they doing? We're in the points, though. So I don't care. One lap to go after this. One lap to try and hold on to our points. What is going on here? What has gone on here? Oh, it's Narain Carter Kayan. He's going to get out of the way. Goodbye, Narain. Not the race win like it was in Monaco. But you know what? It's a P10 in the points. Lovely jubbly. On to the next race. My favorite track on the F1 calendar. The Valencian Grand Prix. The European Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso is on pole position for his home race. The lights are coming on. The engines are revving. And we are... And my controller's been disconnected. Okay, that's not good. Right, okay. Controller died, but we're back. We're restarting the race. The lights are coming on. The engine's revving. We're racing. All of that good stuff. We're underway. Let's put it straight up into Rich Mix. Use a lot of curves. On our run through the first couple of corners. What a start. We're going to move to the inside line if we can. On Felipe Massa. We've got a red ball on our right as well. But what a start to this race. Up to P3. Oh, they're fighting up ahead. That's great news for me. 
Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton squabbling over the race lead into the hairpin. We're going to have a look as well on the inside of Lewis Hamilton. What an overtake on Lewis Hamilton to take P2. But now do we have the pace to get Fernando? Alonso, remember, is somebody we are fighting within the championship. He's only one place ahead of me at the moment. Oh, just having a little squabble with Fernando as we run it a bit wide there. Hard on the brakes, right around the outside. Is it too okay, deep? It might be. We're too. wheel to wheel and we've got Fernando Alonso. We're into the lead of the Valencia Grand Prix. Oh my God, it's run so wide. And it's into the pit lane. Right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Quick pit stop, guys, come on. 5.3, there's nobody around us and you're doing a 5.3 second stop. That is not good at all. Right, onto the harder tires. Where are the leaders? There's somebody up ahead. I think they've gained a lot of time on me. Fernando Alonso is the next car up ahead. So Lewis Hamilton decides to stay out for another lap. Oh, we're going to go for it on Duresta. Okay, then. I did not expect to make that move. But we've made it stick. And it's a beautiful dive. Dive on Fernando Alonso up the inside of turn one. We're going to hold it wheel to wheel with him. And we've got it. What a move for the lead of the race. Lewis Hamilton is somewhere back there. He's been held up in the pit stop. And we are now in the lead of the European Grand Prix. Oh, we're going purple again. Could we set the fast lap of the race? Need to pick up the pace. The car behind's closing. What do you mean, pick up the pace? We just went purple in sector one. I'm not really too fussed about the fastest lap. Fernando can have it. No, we have got it. We're going to go defensive on the inside. Oh, my God. I've gone too deep on the brakes. Okay, Fernando Alonso is going to rejoin wheel to wheel with me. We're on the outside. We've got marbles. Fernando Alonso has taken back the lead of this race. Big dive into the last corner. Oh, it's too much. Or is it? He's still there. He's still there. Fernando Alonso still wheel to wheel with him. We've got the inside line through turn one and turn two. And we've taken back the lead of this race. I don't know what happened to Alonso when we You're dived it up well. the inside. Will he have anything to attack? He's going to move to the outside of the corner. I'm going to be hard on the brakes. He does not get alongside me there. One corner left to go. My favorite circuit on this year's F1 calendar is through the last corner. And it is going to be our third race win. The rain cart again. What are you doing? What is he doing? Oh, we still get the race win. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> right, here we go. The British Grand Prix. Jensen Button on pole position for his home Grand Prix. I'm down in 18th. Again, it was a wet qualifying session. We suck in the wet. It's five red lights. We're underway in Silverstone. It's a good start into the first corner. Onto the brakes as we kind of force out a few drivers. Oh, we find a gap there. Wow! What a start. And we find another gap around the outside. Look at that. Already up into the points. And maybe it's going to be more through the middle of Schumacher and Vettel as well. Wow. Up in a P6. Oh, no, 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 no. It's all gone to shit. It's all gone to shit. We mucked it up. We've gone wide. Oh, my God. I've got no cornering ability at all. It's going to be difficult. Oh, we got yellow. We got a yellow. It's back in the points. No, Lewis. No. No, you shall not pass. I will stay ahead of you. I've got an idea. I've got a plan. And it involves Jaime Algaswari. I want to see what happens if a driver goes into one of these bollards. I mean, he definitely hits some bollards. Or maybe, maybe he misses them. Oh my god, he he actually missed them all. Look at that. He get he got, I got spun. I think I hit that one bollard. And he missed both the other bollards. Right, we're going to go into the next one. It is the race day for the German Grand Prix. Our first time tackling the Nürburgring. Vettel is in first. Barrichello 16th. And we, we may we may have taken somebody out. Um, nobody needs to see what we did. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even the driver I was going to take out. We rolled him. We rolled him. <laughs> Starting P20. But the lights are on. The engine's revving. And we are racing for the German Grand Prix and we are going to go all the way down to the inside and try and get as many positions as we can into turn one on the inside if we can. Oh, Perez has been taken out by a bollard. Can we go around the outside? We can. We can. What a start once again. It's like Britain all over again up the inside of the Sauber and despite starting P20, we are now moving ourselves up into P9 on the grid. Let's go. Oh my god, cars in the wet in the air. Got a little warning for corner cuts. We're gonna dive up the inside of Mark Webber. If we can, we cannot. Oh, but he makes a mistake. 
Oh, and somebody's broken their front wing there. I think somebody else has absolutely obliterated the bollard. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's got damage. It's Rosberg. A little bit wide there. Show the inside to Mark Webber. Oh, I think we might have accidentally spun Mark Webber. Yeah, come on, Mark. We're turning in for the corner. Where do you want us to go? Can we all just have a gentleman's agreement right now that we... Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that, okay? Right, into the box we go. Right, whereabouts is this going to put us? Sebastian Buemi, and then these guys are Petrov. The and I think my teammate of Barrichello are going to be behind me now. Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on. We don't want to be P11, and this guy is going to be right to my tail now. Four tenths of a second. But he's not going to get through. We're going to fly over the chicane. Like an absolute, like a salmon. Leaping out of the water. Kobe actually not close enough to go for an attack down here. So that's fine with me. Or is it? I've gone very, very deep. No! We're going to send it back on the inside of Kobe actually. Come on. Oh, that is that is a bit too aggressive. That is too aggressive. And Kobe actually is going to get that position back. But we're going to use Kurz. No way. Did we, get, did we really get a penalty for that? No, it must have been for something else. It was for something else. Okay, we're just going to pretend like that did not happen. It was a dirty, dirty send. But we're allowing it. Felipe Massa wins the German Grand Prix. Kobayashi's going to have a look at us. He might even get alongside. But he can't break as late as we can into the chicane. I've run out of fuel. I've run out of fuel. No. 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 We held it. <laughs> oh, that was dirty. That was dirty and disgusting. But we held on to the last point. Our last couple of points. P7. In the standing, it's Felipe Massa who is leading the championship by a whopping 25 points right now. He is clear 